special shout out to all my awesome tier 3 members and patrons, Riptide, Anik D, Z Wanderer, Matthew Hall, Shaolin Kelly, Yushika Bay, and Medlo for their amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to 7 Days to Night, Darkest Falls mod. So I went back and checked the footage. That guy, that prepper, killed us in one shot. He did 99-0 damage to us. That is insane. No wonder I died. But yeah, that was kind of messed up. I just had to go back and check and see, uh, see because I was really, really like, what the hell? How was that possible? Damn, 9-0 damage, which means we are definitely going to have to go and figure out more armor and stuff. I want to go for military gear. We do have iron armor on us, though. So how did I take that much damage? He did an insane amount of damage there. Okay, so we came from there. We read that this. Let me just block that off. We still have to do that room over there. I'm just afraid that it might be some tough stuff over there as well. Should probably not go wasting my stamina right now because there might be a tough zombie or two left. If I'm not mistaken, we already cleared out the rest of the place, so I'm just going to leave that there. Um, I need to start picking up frames behind me as well because we went through so many frames last time um, and we just can't afford to keep doing that. And that lady was breaking up to us, but we can quickly get this. Um, if I'm not mistaken, we haven't gotten this stuff outside yet, but I need to drop stuff off first. We are so encumbered right now. There shouldn't be any zombies over here. I'm just gonna stand right here, just in case there's like a dog or something. Yeah, we should be able to get some wheels from this if we're lucky. Oh, just scrap polymers, and then... I want to make sure there's no hidey holes. That's why I'm trying to break stuff off right now. But basically, if I'm not mistaken, there's a switch on the other side of that door. Yeah, we fall inside of here. There's no zombies over here. There's a switch on that side of the door that opens up this door for us. I should probably go all the way back, but I can just well then go through the front. It seems we were supposed to uh, come through this room and then go to the room we're just in. But either way, we're safe. Uh, that's all that counts right now. I'm not going to take any unnecessary chances anymore, guys, because I'm playing this like I have got armor on and... Yeah, I'm just going to survive every single hit. But on the same difficulty, these zombies hit like monsters. They're, they're doing so much damage to us, it's insane. What if I can repair... No, we can't repair with this tool, right? No. I'll be able to get some wood back, though. And then make another frame. Boom. Okay. No zombies over here. I'm actually thinking of going for this military side of here, which might be... No, 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 you know what? We need to go heal this arm. It's like seven hours left. Um, We don't have a splint on us, do we? I need to go heal this arm, and then we need to go do a few quests, because I need Molotovs. Right now, we are really, really lacking with Molotovs, and it shows. Because with this place, if I just used the Molotov or two, we would have been fine, but I wanted to conserve them, since we had so little left. So we can do this. It doesn't open up this one, but it does open up the one next door. You can tell me it's going to be like dogs and stuff. the dumb thing for me is I don't even check for dogs I just jump out here there's still a radiator left now break this or not okay he's not radiated but that one is so if I can stand like this and shoot both of them at the same time Nice, now they're gonna try and break through to me over here, which gives me a chance to just quickly shoot. Unless he stands on his friend and then tries to crawl through here, then we might have a problem. Save some ammo, come on, come closer. I'm wasting so much stamina, but he's not getting any closer. All he needs is to stand on something and it'll be close enough to crawl through. And if he crawls through, he, he can be inside the window and still do some damage to me. See guys, this is why I need a spear. I think when we get back to the base, I need to try and get myself a spear because um, it gives bleed damage. So this dude could have already been dead. And we could have been back in the base already. I'm just really scared of dogs and stuff in the side of these. Um, I know for a fact that we've cleared this one. No, not even. We have been on top of it, but as you guys just saw, ferals don't always even wake up. Even with feral sense on, zombies don't wake up. Okay, let me just quickly drop this on the vehicle over here. I think my arm can only get worse if we are firing shots with a gun, right? Because I've been doing melee just now and we didn't really do 
Didn't do damage. Need some space quickly. Uh, let's keep that one. Drop that one. Yeah. Oh, I hear stuff hitting, but I don't know. I think it might be from the bunker underneath this place. I just hope it's not, because then they might be busy destroying our loot right now. There's our loot, damn it. Our loot. I should probably just keep this gun on me. In case there's a feral that didn't wake up, because we want to be able to just shoot them. The nice thing is, there's a few entrances into this uh, wagon. So uh, that also means there's a few exit, uh, exits over here, in case a zombie gets in here with us. I still can't believe we died last episode just because I was careless. I'm taking way too many chances and it is insane difficulty. So it's so much easier dying and I'm like, ah, nah, I can do this. Might still be a zombie over there, so let's just close that off. We cannot. Why not? Oops, let's run. Oh, she's a fat one as well. And she's feral. Oh yeah, what a way to shoot a lady, but I do not care. Just please don't get stuck in this place with a zombie guy. It's so easy, especially because you can't jump in this tight in these tight quarters. If a zombie blocks me off right now, I have a problem. So you just do that. I'm going to be able to get out of here. We need the springs and stuff from these because we might be able to make more contact grenades. Um, what was our object objective again? How many of these? We need three more. If I can just get one more military um, item to drop, we can make ourselves a bit more storage and then we just need a... Uh, what do you call it? Beaker to be able to make a chem station. Or we just need to find a working chem station. I can't remember if Razor actually had a working one or not. If he does, that might actually save us so much time. What does this give us? Some poles, some mechanical parts, are really worth it. Uh, we don't have fire axe, so we're not going to get... Yeah, we're not, we don't get anything. See, that's the only reason why you might need a fire axe on you, is to be able to uh, go and break wood. That also gives us some wood, but I don't have a fire axe, so we won't even be able to get wood. Okay, so these zombies over here have already been killed. Let me just jump down. I want to see the front. There's no front to this one. Okay. I'm going to have to jump through like this. This one doesn't even have a floor. That is insanely messed up. So it's so easy for a zombie to trap you over here. Or to get to you over here because all they have to do is crawl underneath this thing and you don't even realize they're crawling. Okay. But I need to go heal this arm. Seven hours of brokenness. That's bad. We just jump up. Ooh, another crowbar. Nice. I think we have enough crowbars to actually repair this purple one all the way to pristine condition. And then we're going to make sure that we have all the necessary mods in there so we can do as much damage as possible. Okay, so now all I have to do is read this. Let's go. Damn, I can't believe we have to go all the way back to the base now just to heal an arm. If, if my arm wasn't broken or sprained or whatever, it is, uh, I don't know what it is right now. But if it wasn't broken or sprained, we might have been able to keep on going right now. I think let's just drive straight down over here. And then turn left when we get to that. That's also going to open up a little bit of window over here for us. We want to see where we are. And where we can get some beakers. I am tempted. Oh, come on. I am tempted to actually go for the hospital. But guys, we need way more Molotov. So we're going to have to go and do a few trader quests. Whether it be for the scout or whatever. We need to do way more trader quests right now just to get more Molotovs as a reward. If we had a stack of Molotovs, I wouldn't have to worry. Because then as soon as a place has too many zombies, you just corral them all together and throw one Molotov. Now for the few radiators that there are, you only have to do is shoot once or twice. Man, I need a faster vehicle. Ooh, if I have some... In Darkest Falls, you can actually lockpick. So I can get to the final stash of this place by, by, by bypassing all the zombies. But then again, we mustn't just go for the final stashes, guys, because remember our, um, what do you call it, looting stage. Our loot stage is just too low right now. 
So the more you level, the more you uh, level up and grow and stuff, the higher your loot stage is, and obviously the better loot you'll get. So there's no point in going for all the final sessions now, because we're only going to get like pipe guns and stuff like that. What's this? This also looks like some kind of brewery or something. But I just know that these places are usually so defended. I mean, just look at the small PI we just did, guys. That alone was insanely defended. Ooh. This prison over here might be worth it. Oh. Because if you think about it, there might be a ton of military guys and hazmats and stuff in there. I literally just need one more military item. And we'll be able to go and make ourselves the rigging for our carry capacity. Zoo for food and stuff. The only reason I don't like going to the zoo, guys, is there's so many animals and there's so many trees in the way. So, if, say, for example, there's a ton of wolves and stuff. You can't see the wolf until it's too late. Okay, if I just turn in here quickly, thank you. I just head straight back to the base. This way, I think we've actually uncovered most of the map for the town. Which also means these buildings really aren't that great. This is the bookstore that I've done earlier. Yeah, you can actually see all the corpses and stuff over here. So, damn, the only bookstore that I've seen... So far, I don't know if I've seen a second one, but so far the only bookstore I've seen we've already, already done. And other than that, I don't see really awesome POIs. But some of these combo pack POIs might be like hidden gems, so... We need to look into all of them. I need to repair my golf cart and then also refuel it as well. We don't want to stop. Guys, do you know how many times it's happened, uh, especially late game, for example? You come across like a behemoth or a demonic zombie or a wolf, and then you run out of gas. And that's the worst feeling, especially if you don't know if you have your gun equipped or not. Like we have to be careful because there might be another wandering horde as well. Um, I put a few things in here. I'm super encumbered, be careful. I should have probably just first checked whether a wolf or something spawned in here before doing that just now. Because wildlife can spawn into the trader grounds, guys, and zombies. Oh, I just realized we can make first aid kits because I already made one. But since we can make first aid kits, we should actually just make a ton of them and just heal ourselves constantly. I don't have to worry too much about wasting. Okay, so I'm going to put all the dyes and stuff over here for now. We should be able to make quite a few black dyes. But I don't want to waste them right now. Um, if we have a chemist station as well, it's going to take less dye to make black dye. If we can actually just find black dye, it's going to solve our situation. But we still need double just to be able to do everything we need to do. Okay, we need way more space right now. I'm going to have to separate the guns and the ammo. Or at least the guns, ammo, and tools with each other. Come on, drop. Food goes over there. There are a few zombies underneath me, but I don't know if their spawns are just spawned in or what's going on right now. Okay, I'm going to use this one to repair my current one. Nice, nice, nice. And then I should see what kind of mods do I have for tools. If I have a nice uh, damaged one, for example, that might just help out our tool over here. Okay, if I had the heavy... Ooh, I have a heavy weighted mod. I think on my shovel, no, on my wrench. If I put that on my uh, crowbar, it's going to do even more damage. But for now, that's fine. We can just drop this. Um, oh, that's steel shovel, so it's better than the iron one. Ammo, I'll keep the normal ones. We just don't have enough of the other one to keep the other one. Okay, and then food and drink. I should probably go check that they don't break down the door. Because as soon as I break down the door, we're going to have a massive problem on our hands. Because basically this whole thing we're standing on is on top of the door. So I'm just afraid that somehow breaking the door breaks this thing as well. Okay, one more. That should fill us up more than enough. Food and drink. Nice. We just put this away. Pause away. And where can I put this one? See, that one already has an iron break one, so it doesn't make sense putting it on there. Oh, spear, 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 spear. I wanted to check for a spear. If we have a spear, that's going to be better than a club for me, right? And we have an iron spear. Hmm, okay. Modify. Oh, I don't think we can put the... I'm just going to take it off anyways. Okay, so we have a spear over here. Do we have any mods that can go on a spear? On a blade? Well, we have this one over here, but it's not what I'm looking for right now. Right, let me just go check what's going on down here.
I hope you guys are feral, right? No. Okay, cool. As long as you're not feral, I don't mind jumping down. I want to test this out quickly. So, a power attack. Guaranteed bleed. Yep, he's bleeding. So, you can actually have the club and the, uh, the spear. Make sure the spear bleeds them and then the club knocks them down. And you can, you can actually hit them. Look at this. You hit them from so far away. This is so much better. There's not a guaranteed bleed, unfortunately. I think you have to have, like, the bleed mod on it. But even so, um, as long as you do a power attack, it definitely bleeds them. And she's bleeding. I got the bleed opener, and this thing's barely taking my stamina down. Which is awesome. And it seems a power attack does knock them off their feet. So it's a guaranteed bleed, and you knock them down. Guys, I can't believe I haven't used this thing sooner. Okay, um, yeah, that zombie seems to be inside. Let me just quickly help our trader friends out. But now that I know this thing is awesome, I'm going to use this gear more. Okay, we need to see if we can't buy stuff from the trader as well. We are severely lacking in some st uh, stages. Look at that, we need one more military fiber. I think we only need 10 to be able to make the other th uh, the rigging. Okay, um, clothing I'll put... Over here. And we're full over here. We're completely full on this one. So I'm going to start scrapping stuff that we don't need. I know we might be able to sell these pipe guns. But I mean, they're so crappy at this stage, guys. There's no point. Um, These we can actually repair and sell. We'll be able to sell, sell for quite a nice amount. And then these. We also want, I do want to scrap some of these. Because they will also give us quite a bit of iron. We need iron as much as possible too. Crossbow bolts... Hmm, okay, iron arrows, yes, okay. That might actually come in handy in a pinch. So we put that one away, we're gonna sell these, and drop the ores for now. That makes sense, right? Being it this way around. So we can sell those, what else do we have to sell? Quite a bit, actually. One, two, and this one's the closest to being repaired. Sell, sell, and if we repair this, we can sell it for way more. Grab those awesome stores. I'm actually, I should use it, but I'm trying to save it for when we really, really need it. it might be, uh, there might come a time when we have something really awesome we want to sell. I don't even have to worry about walls and stuff too much. Need? Just because I have these hatches in. Oh, that's not worth it. Okay, so these ones will just sell. Oh, scrap them. Oh, what? Hello? You don't tell me this is a wandering horde. Where did the feral all of a sudden come from? No, don't glitch through. Don't glitch through. I'm trying to hit it before it hits the iron over here. I think this might be a wandering horde. Oh, and there's a demo. Oh, this is not good. If I can hit them with fire over here, I should be able to get the HP really low. That's unfortunate. Okay, and they're through. That's not good. His HP is going down very slowly. I should be able to actually kill him with my spear over here. Crap. I need to throw the grenade behind him. Because if I accidentally hit him with the grenade on his switch, it's going to set the switch off. And remember guys, these buildings take damage in Darkest Falls. I really don't feel like breaking down the trader right now. I could just get him with an explosion. Oh, I have an idea, I have an idea. I'm going to have to lure him past me first. They're going to break through. Crap. Reload. And there's a Feral Pepper. This is the one that killed me earlier. It did an insane amount of damage to me. Just don't hit the face. Oh, don't hit the uh, switch, Sean. Don't hit the switch. There's a few Ferals after me now. They broke in. This is definitely a Wandering Horde. And we don't have enough Monotovs or anything. It's not good. I have to lure these guys out. I have to lure them out somehow. How? The spiders can break my legs if I'm not careful. Oh, open this up, open this up, keep it open. 
Okay, so first off, spiders. Crap, 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 they're feral, they're feral, they're feral. Please don't die again, please don't die again. I'm trying my best not to die right now. I can get the troublesome ferals first because they're trying to jump so close to me. The feral radiated hits me. I'm gonna do, oh, it's gonna do some serious damage. Ooh, run, 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 run. Ooh, bad, 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 bad. Crap, 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 crap. I'm gonna have to waste a ton of ammo, but that's fine. Come on, headshot damage. Oh, clever. They're trying to climb on the fence with me. The only reason I'm not um, exploding him is because of the XD. If I can make this worth it, I mean, I just... I need the XD right now. Please don't accidentally set him off. You just know he's gonna try for everything right now. Come on, this is way too close. This is making me stretch right now. Okay, wheel. Might be some more ferals. I only killed one spider and there was definitely more than one. So the trader might be overrun right now. Hello, hello, radiant woman. Let's just see. I want to experiment quickly. How fast does she heal? She is still healing, even with the damage from this. Damn. That's what makes ferals. Oh, crap. And that's a feral crop. Okay, I want to make sure I kill him as well. I don't mind making him explode. Crap, no, 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 no. Run, 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 run. Please don't hit me, please don't hit me, please don't hit me, please don't hit me, please don't hit me. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm infected. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Guys, the stress right now. I mean, he hit me from almost nowhere. I was just all of a sudden hit. Yes, military fibers. Nice. Okay. Um, I think he's corpse. Okay, I'm not gonna go for that one in the distance. Ooh, uh, first things first, let's just heal. There are still ferals left inside, so we need to be careful of that. Oh, you're a feral gangster. Okay. Make sure you reload. Oh, look at all these ferals still. No, if he hits me, I'm dead. If he hits me, I'm dead. Run, 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 run. Why did this wandering horde come from such a weird direction? If you guys think about this, all of these guys are feral. Look at that. Every single one of them is feral, but they all came from a really weird direction. I need to try and shoot them all in a bundle. So if I can lure them around like, oh crap, that was a bad one. All they have to do is stand on top of each other and they get me. All I have to do is jump over the, the fence every now and then, and I'm safe. Back and forth, back and forth until I'm done. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, he jumped fast. He jumped fast. Gonna jump each other? Headshots, headshots. No, no dogs, please. Crap, 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 they're fast, they're fast, they're fast. Ooh. Because I'm trying to do the, 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 what do you call it, shoot at the chest kind of thing, so I don't waste too much. 
But damn, it's difficult. Okay, how many ferals are still left out here, though? Is there still a feral over that side? You know what, first, before we do that, let me just focus on healing quickly. And hopefully if I hear vomit from a crop or something, I'll be able to just jump out of the way. We are infected, so I just need to drink one honey. And my honey only has a little bit of a chance. Wait, what? Oh, from that was like, what? Why can't I heal myself? But yeah, honey only has a small chance of healing you, so you have to be very careful not to waste. Damn, I need a proper base, it seems. I didn't think I was going to need one, but I need a proper base. There you go. Okay, so. Oh, another feral. What the hell? I wonder if it's because of my game stage, or if this is actually truly just a wandering horde. I think this might have just been a wandering horde, but there's ferals all over. Oh, they're stuck in that pure eye. That's not good. There's more radiates of Oh, so the feral uh, horde came from that side. They got stuck in the pure eye, tried to go around, but it didn't really help that much. I need to be careful if there's any spiders. I wanted to sell some stuff to the traders. That's why I was in here. At least the honey took the first time. Apparently, honey only has a small chance of healing you. So you have to be careful when using it. Ain't worth a dime anymore. Oh, dude, you have no idea what I've just been through. It's a shame he doesn't want any of this stuff. Steel armor, I, I need it at this stage. Okay, um, do we have any Molotovs at all? Yes. Only one, though, damn it. At this stage, I'm going to need the concrete sooner than... Thought. Well, it's about time you bought something. Um, how much cash do I have? Seven thousand. I want to buy some shotgun rounds, especially since that's what's been saving us for now. Two thousand. Yeah, why not? Well, good luck with that. Okay, I should be able to hopefully kill this dude quickly without attracting too much attention. I have no idea how many zombies are still left out there. Ferals and stuff from this horde. I need to upgrade that block as well. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is do these guys' quests. The more of these guys' quests we do, the more Molotovs and stuff we'll get as well. I need food. I really seriously need some food right now. Oh, we can finally make the other thing as well. Okay, cool. Um, Nine more. Oh, that's expensive. Nine is way more expensive than I thought it would be. This? I don't know how effective a nail bomb is going to be, but I mean, a bomb's a bomb, right? Okay, uh, no beaker. Just need that damn beaker. Please, I'm going to buy all the food. You never know what you're going to be able to combine to make some food. Oh yeah, unfortunately, he didn't... it's a shame this doesn't work like War of the Walkers. In War of the Walkers, Jay and other traders, all of them, and there are all three traders in the trader camp, buy stuff but yeah it seems only the main trader buys okay not bad not bad got some grenades on that one guys the amount of times I, I can't believe last episode i died from like one hit from a dude just because he critted me and this episode so far we've survived crop radiated ferals we just i think we've uh, uh, my game has been on point for this one okay um yeah, let's just sell that one. The reason I'm not doing that, guys, is obviously the movement penalty. And also, it, it, it's only yellow, so it's not going to hold that much anyways. Okay, dyes we have to keep. I need that chem station, but for that we need a beaker. So I'm going to have to go and see if we can't do that hospital. At, at least, just a quick in and out to see if we can't quickly get that. Um, We need this. We need 10 of this, if I'm not mistaken. We need some duct tape. What do we need to make a rigging? And leather. So at least this is going to give us some five more space. I think you make it over here, right? No, you make it over here. It might be a waste making this one now, because as long as we can just... No, but I think we have to level a ton anyways. 
to be able to make the other one. But we could have been able to make the other one. It's just going to take so much longer. I'm going to have to make sure that we're full on food and water. And then we're going to have to go out there again. But I'm going to have to make sure that we are paying attention to the surroundings more. Because, I mean, all of these ferals now, guys, we could have so easily died. It was actually surprising that I didn't die. Okay, put these away. I need to tell my brother that when he's at the bottom, just close the door. B4, seven. Okay, so we're going to have to repair this one soon. It's going to lose... Oh, no, I shouldn't lose durability. Because we have our weapons at two. We have two skill points over here. So we do have our weapons and tools and stuff at two. Um, quicker crafting, perhaps. No, that's locked on a play level. What level am I right now? The level 31. Uh, what level do you start getting coil and stuff? Because I'm going to have to start thinking about this. Level 60. So... Uh, uh, at least you only usually get coil when demonic zombies start showing up so we should be good to go for now we shouldn't have to worry too much about demons and stuff at the moment okay let's see what else can i get parkour oh no no stamina yeah stamina parkour we should also probably go on max never get a sprained leg and jump two meters high that might actually be worth it but guys since i've died a few times we need to get our minimum uh, wellness and stuff up Basically what it means is, for those of you who are new to the game, every time you die, your max stamina and wellness goes down. With health nuts, it caps it. It can't go down below a certain number. So I know a lot of people are very unlucky in the game and they die a few times, like a lot of times. And every time they die, their HP goes down. So at a stage, you don't have any HP or wellness or whatever to move around on. And it's just not a nice feeling. So be, um, being able to max that out a bit helps you quite a bit as well. Let me just do this. Man, I'm dreading when I'm going to have to repair this one. I'm really, really hoping we get another shotgun. Even a crappy quality one. Oh, no! What did I just do? Were there mods on this? I hope there weren't any mods on this. I think there were mods. I didn't check. The quality changed, and I think there was a mod on this. No! There was an auto mod on it, I think. Damn, guys, you always have to make sure. If you put two guns together, one year, one year... And the mod, uh, if the level of your main gun, the higher level, changes, the mods will get reset. I'm like, oh man, that sucks. I wish they could make it so that doesn't happen. Like, even if you um, combine, it keeps the mods, but uh, sho uh, shoves it into your inventory or something. Because that just now was a bad loss. That was a really bad one. Damn, we need more mods, we need more guns, we need more ammo. We need so much. Um... The biggest thing I think right now we need is one more mod for this one. And then we need a bleeding mod for my uh, Iron Spear. So it's guaranteed to bleed zombies every time we hit them. Because at the moment, it's just sometimes that it bleeds and power attacks are definitely bleed. I'm going to have to make sure we eat and drink to fill up. I'm probably going to have to go also and just quickly do this. Just see what can we make. Cam soups. Pea soups. Okay, let's go for the ones that do multiple first, and then for the single ones. Damn, we need so much more food. I'm tr I'm actually considering making bacon and eggs, but I need the eggs for dyes and books and stuff. If I could work out exactly how many eggs we're going to need for inks and dyes and stuff going forward, the rest of the eggs we can actually use for ourselves. I wonder if that's now a zombie from the uh, Wandering Horde, or if that's just a random zombie. I'm actually hoping for a random... But you guys, we've actually got a little bit of space. I didn't really pay attention to how much. Yeah, it gives us about five spots. It's not a lot. But I mean, it's five more spaces than we used to have. It's underneath the water. Yeah. It's five spots. That's actually really, really good. Um, Obviously, I'll, hope, I'll wish for better. Is that irradiated? Yeah, that's irradiated zombie underneath us. But yeah, so if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Comment and tips of feedback down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time as we keep to take care of these two and then go explore the town further. A big thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description down below.